Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, I'm coming on today to talk about Blue Rose Beauty, one of my favorite natural hair product lines. I just wanted to tell you what some of my favorites are and, you know, do a review. So I'm going to get right into just showing you, like, how it worked on my hair. So, the devil. <laughs> I wanted to show you the Blue Rose on my hair because I know a lot of you have been asking about it. So, um, this is kind of the done part, obviously, and I just left the last section to show you. So, this is before, before I add anything, that's kind of my um, regular weird <laughs> kinky curly um, hair. And these are the two Blue Rose products I'm going to be using. So, so excited to finally be doing this. The Cocoa Rose Leave-In Conditioner and the Marshmallow Cream Gel. So I love this leave-in. It's really rich and creamy. It smells great, I guess, if you especially if you like the powder, <laughs> kind of baby powder scent, I guess. So, and it's a pretty light leave-in if you're worried about, you know, being heavy. Like, you know, it's, it's light. <laughs> so if you like light products, like I do, then this might be a good leave-in. So once it's kind of smoothed in, it's time to start raking. It may or may not cause frizz, it may or may not help, but I like my hair to be as, you know, detangled as possible before I set it with the gel, just to save myself stress the following wash day and in life. So this is after the leave-in, look at that, <laughs> you know? I did do an oil rinse today, I should say, but I mean, you saw it before. It wasn't like, it wasn't like that. And I just put the leaf in, you saw. So, the next thing I like using is the marshmallow cream gel. So this used to be an ochre cream gel, which I really loved. I don't know if the scent was too powerful for some people or what, because it smelled like ochre. But I love the scent of ochre, and I love the effect of ochre. But, anywho, <laughs> this works just as well. So, stick it along my roots. Kind of work it down. I never get flakes. I don't know if it's like the high quality products I use or just my hair or did I, you know, use curly girl friendly products, but I never get flakes, so it's one thing I don't have to worry about. I haven't done the raking yet, but <laughs> look at that. I mean, y'all have been seeing me raving about this. Oh, people, come on, people. <laughs> so, you know, this is with the cream gel. So, this is pretty much it. I can let dry if I want it like, you know, three day wash and go. But I'm gonna add my gel. So that's it. That's my Blue Rose Beauty demo review. Love these products. I think it might even still be on sale to get you some. Bye. <laughs> my HG shampoo, moisturizing shampoo, is this Coco Rose Creamy Shampoo. So I know you guys have seen me rave about this in multiple videos, but I had to mention it since I'm doing the Blue Rose Review, right? <laughs> so it's really rich and creamy. And you know it has great slip and great moisture as well actually. 
So your hair doesn't feel stripped at all when you use this. And it spreads really well like in the tangle with it in my hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see pictures of it in my hair. This is the texture. It's kind of like I said, it's creamy. It's not really dropping. You know, it's a nice thick, but it really spreads easily. And it smells really nice. It smells like cocoa, I guess. Yeah, it smells like cocoa. So if you like cocoa butter, that kind of scent, you know, then yeah. <laughs> you know, what I look for in uh, shampoo, it must have cleansing and moisturizing ingredients. So, you know, this has cocoa betaine and decal glucoside, so it's not just BSing, it's actually a shampoo, unlike a lot of the other shampoos and co-washes I see out there. So it has surfactants in it, plus it has like coconut powder, coconut nectar, um, slippery elm for slip, you know, has a lot of like coconut oil, olive oil, it has like guar gum, which probably is why it's so defining and everything. So, and it has neem in it, so like the ingredients are great and the result is great. The formulation is like awesome on this. So I definitely love and I definitely recommend you trying it out. You won't regret it. If you're looking for a moisturizing shampoo that cleanses and conditions, I think this is like, this is my issue. This is the best one I've tried so far. I love it, love it, love it. Next we can talk about the first leave-in I tried from her and I guess my first love, like my first um, HG leave-in, which is the Strawberry Hibiscus leave-in. This one gave me a lot of moisture, a lot of slip, a lot of definition. Um, it spread really easily in my hair. It smelled amazing. So it has that kind of strawberry smell. It has like hibiscus, slippery elm. It does have glycerin, so I don't use it in the winter. But it also has mango butter and rumu butter as well as like gua silk, which is very softening and conditioning. You know, I see the definition ingredient, I see the moisture ingredient, um, I see the slip ingredient because it has slippery elm. So, you know, again, this is a really great product. It's not that light in the sense that it's not dripping. Yeah. So this is, it just, it feels really light to the touch. So it doesn't like fall out, but once you start rubbing it, it just melts instantly. So you can see, I didn't really lotion my hand beforehand, but I guess that'll be good because I can like rub this in. But, you know, it just melts instantly. And it smells great. It smells like rose, I guess. It smells like perfume. Like, I, would, I wouldn't mind this for a perfume scent. It smells that good. So, definitely, you will love this and you won't regret it. And I can't wait for like spring to like give it a whirl. So, the one that I've been using now is this Coco Rose Leave-In. So it's just as awesome as the strawberry, but this one is like even richer and creamier and I think it has a little bit more slip as well. So it's pretty awesome. Um, again, you know, great ingredients, marshmallow root, rose petals, rosemary, amla, and it has like cocoa butter and kukuasu butter, coffee butter, coconut oil, coconut milk, honey quark. So ingredients are great, you know, it has the slip the marshmallow root for slip and it has the moisture and it has the honey quart and the rose hip petals which will help you with that finish. This one's a bit more runny I think than the strawberry hibiscus leave-in so you know it's probably gonna drip eventually I guess. So it's slightly more runny but not really and again it just kind of melts in so like if you are ultra low porosity and you just need something that's not gonna sit on your hair then for sure you want to check out blue rose. Mm, this one smells great. It smells like cocoa, but it smells like a mix of cocoa butter and um, baby powder or something. <laughs> and I'm like, my hands were dry. I was like outside and it's like snowing. So I'm like using this as lotion and it's actually pretty good for that too. So, yeah. So, you really can't go wrong with these two leave-ins if you're looking for a leave-in. And you definitely can't go wrong with this shampoo. So... On to the butters and stylers. Now she has a lot of butters and stylers, but I really haven't tried them all. But I've been using this coconut curly custom and I really like it. It is it is somewhat light. I, it's gonna run out of there eventually. Like you can, I don't know if you can see it coming. So it's gonna run out of there eventually. So it is kinda light, but it kind of you know it gives you some resistance when you stick your hands in there. And it looks like whipped marshmallow or something. I love the texture. And I love the scent. Like all her scents are awesome. So, you know. Everything she has just kind of melts in. Like really light. But for me it's really moisturizing. 
like especially I think pretty much all her butters although this is the only one I've tried but all of them have similar formulations um, this one is just a simple good stuff formulation it has like sitting nettle, fenugreek, coconut milk, coconut oil I guess you're seeing a trend so if you don't like coconut you know maybe this might be for you but my hair sings for coconut milk and you know I don't have an issue with coconut oil so it also has cocoa butter and manuka honey and guar gum so it's really great to moisturize and define your curls so that's the coconut curly custard yeah the jar did get kind of dinged but it's still loved <laughs> and the contents are great so I wish you could I wish you could like be here and like really experience these but the one better experience is to actually buy them so she does have a nine dollar sale out for everything and usually your stuff is pretty reasonable like maybe 14 to 16 dollars for most things which is pretty reasonable for her ingredients and her quality and it's like handcrafted and everything so yeah and last but not least the marshmallow cream gel um i use this one i have this in my hair right now with the cocoa cream leave-ins <laughs> yeah so this one i think is a reformulation of her old gel which was the okra cream gel which i will admit that i like even better than this one because it also has okra which my hair loves but i still love this one and i still recommend it i do think it like you know defines your curls and moisturizes your hair and everything and of course the ingredients are great so it has like rosebud extract marshmallow root aloe vera juice Shea butter, macadamia oil, apricot oil, honeypot, xanthan gum. I think it, it has like just a soft hole, but it's really good if you just want some extra moisture and some extra definition. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that you know you get a better appreciation for Blue Rose Beauty now and you might even check it out. Um, you won't regret it. Hopefully you catch the sale and come back and let me know what you think. Come back and thank me. <laughs> so see you guys next time. Bye.